Okay. We have a couple mills in town, uh, totaling, uh, I guess, a little over 200 employees who will be losing their positions, and hopefully we can get some of them jobs. We have 16 different jobs for which applications can be sent in. There are a lot of people who did not have paid jobs doing some of the things that we're looking for, but you might have done it around your house. You might be a backyard mechanic. You might be someone who does all of your own painting. You do your own car repairs. You can still write it up as other work experience or work done at home. Just be persistent, okay? This, this, this isn't easy, and it, it's nerve-wracking, and it, if you just have a little bit of patience in filling out these applications, uh, okay? All right, good, thanks. There's not much. That's the bad thing. At one time, we had uh, three industries here. It was the Forest Service, the mill, and the prison. Now the mill is down, and the Forest Service, if you read in the paper lately, they're laying a bunch of people off. They're going to go contracting. It's cheaper for them. So actually, there's not much left in Susanville if, unless you work at the prison. That's it. The big yellow piece of machinery you see right there, that's a Laterno. That's what got the logs off the trucks, put them in the log decks. We had a crane. This was the top money maker of Susanville besides the prisons. This is the only job that really paid money and had benefits. I enjoyed working in the lumber industry and being in a big mill. My family's been in it. My dad worked in sawmills for quite a bit of his life. My uncles. All of us has went through a big change since this place has shut down. And for me, I've been in the lumber industry for almost 20 years, and it's hard for me to go find something else. You know, the prison's the thing to do, I guess. I do got a lot riding on going through this academy. It's going to make me or break me, one, you know. So I got to get my priorities straight and do what I got to do to get through it. Robert, did you want these left on the pallet, or you want to pull them off? Uh, off? Off. We're getting ready to load the trucks for the prison Friday load. That's our, that's our biggest load, typically. The prison is basically 25 to 30 percent of our total business. You want all these off, Gabe? Yeah. The opportunities for jobs in Susanville are, are really limited. And Morning Glory, just by default, has become one of the largest employers, you know, in the county. They're still providing a decent living wage besides the prison. I've been working here about a year. It's been great. Got my Class A license, you know, so I'm licensed to drive these big trucks. And, um, you know, Mike, Mike paid for that, the boss. You know, it's been real good, making real good wages for up here. Gabe is one of our good guys. He's a real hard worker. He's uh, very smart. He can do uh, all the things that, uh, that need doing down here, and now he's leaving to go to work for the prison. And he's going to start in the academy. He's going to be a correctional officer. I hate to leave this place. I mean, my boss here, he's been real good to me, and, you know, it's been like family around here. It's, uh, you know, it's a good place to work. But, you know, I hear about what the guards are making out there, you know. I mean, and you see them, you see them driving around in their trucks. You know, they're you know, they're like Cadillacs. They get them all lifted, big old tires. You know, they're pulling ski boats, jet skis, motorcycles. They got all kinds of toys and money to blow. And, you know, compared to, uh, compared to anything else around here anymore, I mean, the mills just shut down. The logging industry isn't what it used to be. It's, you know, what this town thrived off of for a long time. And, um, yeah, the only thing left is the prison. <laughs>